In this episode, we're going to show how to test editing and destroying a monster and creating a new monster. But first we have a problem. If we want to try to edit this and then save it, we get an error because we haven't defined put for this route. And there's the same problem if we try to delete it, just with delete. And then creating one, it runs into another problem. Fortunately, the solutions to these problems are pretty easy. So in our config.js in Mirage, we simply put a put here for monsters slash ID. And that'll let us make these edits. So we make our edit here, we hit save, and we're all good. Of course, these edits won't save since this regenerates every time, but it'll work for the length of our test. It's similarly easy to do the deletion route, so that's all there is. And then for creating a new one, that's also really easy. So these you might recognize, these are the CRUD operations. So these two are for reading. This one is for creating. Probably should have started that with that for C. So C, R, update, and delete. We've got all the CRUD operations. And this formation, it actually happens a lot. So there is a way to do all of it at once just like that. So with that one line, we've created a server-side CRUD resource. And so we'll go ahead and double check, make sure that's still doing everything, and it looks good. Now it's time to test our app. To prepare for that, we're gonna take each of the buttons that we have and wrap them in descriptive classes. So we'll call this one destroy button. This one we'll go ahead and call edit button. Here for the new monster button, we'll call it class equals create monster button. And then on the monster form, the save button we will call, can you guess? Good guess. Now to write our actual tests, we'll start off where we left off the last test and just click the edit button. Once we've clicked the edit button, we'll be in the edit form and we can fill in. And which selector will we get? Let's edit the name. So we'll do edit name and then the input that's inside of that. So edit name, input. And we'll fill that in with a uh, custom Sparkachu. All right, then we will click the save button. And then we'll go ahead and test that it's done stuff correctly. So we'll assert that the current URL is monsters slash one slash show. And then we'll assert the name. And here we will copy what we had before, but instead of getting it from our automatically created array, we'll just ask if it's what we put in there. So custom Sparkachu. And then we will go ahead and see if it passes. And it does, all except for JS hint. Awesome. Now let's test out the delete functionality. So we'll click the delete button and that's really all we have to do. We'll go to the end then. We will then assert things. So we'll assert that the current URL, that it's transferred us back to the monsters route because that's what it should do once we delete it. We don't want to be showing a deleted monster. And then We'll check the length. So we'll find all of the monsters. 
and we'll see if it shrunk by one. Of course, before we check, we might want to call this destroy button since that's what we actually have in our app. Anyways, it looks like they all pass. Before we go on to creating a new monster, I want to point out just exactly what we're doing. This is as if someone is visiting a page, then clicking stuff, checking the URL, checking where stuff is. It's like a person is doing it, except it's the computer. And if you go here and watch it, you'll see it clicking around. That right there was slowed down a little bit so you could see it. It's usually pretty fast. Anyways, I wanted you to have an awareness of what exactly was happening. So we're going to click the Create Monster button, and then we'll be doing some major filling in. We'll go ahead and just do the edit name and the input as we did above, and we'll put in second custom Sparkachu, and then we'll fill in the edit level field. So we're filling in the level, and we'll just put in five. Then we click Save button, and then we can do our checks. We could have checked back there that we were in monsters slash new, but just because you can check something doesn't mean you have to. So we could check the current URL. I can guess that it would be ID of 10, but that's not a super safe bet, and it doesn't really matter what the new ID is. But you could do current route name, and that'll grab the route name regardless of what the ID is. So that would be monsters.monster.show. And then, after we've checked that the route is correct, we'll go ahead and copy that change it a little so it's making sure that it says second custom Sparkachu. Remember, this is in the show route. And everything's passing. Now remember, every once in a while you want to mess up a test or mess up something in your template just to make sure that it's actually testing something. And there we go. So it would fail if it wasn't showing the correct thing. If you do the failure first, basically you write the test before you write the code that makes it pass, that's called TDD, or Test Driven Development. Lots of people really like that style. You can't really do it if you already have an app written that you want to test, but when we write more tests later on in this series, we may experiment with it just to show you.